Mortal Kombat, in which blobs of blood spurt from the victims, and the winner tears off the head of a woman and dangles her spinal column. The games could become fad toys of the season, like Cabbage Patch Dolls a few years back. Cabbage Patch dolls never oozed blood, and kids weren't taught to rip off their heads or tear out their hearts and spinal cords. Well, the real answer is for manufacturers to quit making the most violent games. The industry says it'll cooperate in ratings, but defends even the most lurid games. We don't believe in censorship. We believe in providing appropriate information for the, uh, the consumer or the family to make a choice as to whether or not a game is right for them. One survey indicates nine out of every ten kids live in a home with a video game system. Critics say unless something's done, the worst of the games threaten to make an already violent society even more violent. Robert Hager, NBC News, Washington.